Hello, everybody. We are here for another exciting episode, and we are in Universal City Walk, as you can see behind us. And it is crowded. I mean, it is crowded. There was a long line of people all the way back to the parking garage just to get into City Walk. And it's about 7.30-ish. 7.30-ish. Um, and why are we here? We're not actually here to do a park. We are here to eat at Cowfish. Yummy. So yeah, Cowfish, check it out. Right behind me, there's the Cowfish. <laughs> Delicious Cowfish. Um, I'm excited. Been to this restaurant before, but I'm gonna get some new food today, I think. Something I've never done before, but I think it's a great restaurant. But we're gonna do a full review of it walk you through what do they have to eat on the menu what are some of the great things to try um and i don't know let's see i'm gonna try some new food we'll find out but it's an awesome place to eat here universal city walk highly recommend it Okay, so here we are in Cowfish at our table. Let's talk a little bit about Cowfish. I have walked past Cowfish for years, like years, and I never really thought much of it. I think it's because I just saw sushi like on the sign up at the top and I was like, I'm out. Like, I don't like sushi. I mean, I can eat some sushis, but I don't like uncooked fish. It wasn't until our son Max came here and told us how much he liked it that we were like well maybe we should give it a shot remember that max like he was like he was like this th he's like this place is pretty good you should give it a shot and i was like i don't know it's, it's called cowfish like what does that even mean like i literally like i'm just dense apparently because like i was like i don't know it sounds like cowfish that's a weird name but i don't even understand but at some point I don't remember what happened. I don't know if you said it. Somebody said it or it just clicked that they have their main food that they have here is burgers and sushi. And so cowfish. So cow fish. I get it. Land and sea. So I, I it took me like literally I'm just dense. Like it took me that long to figure it out. Let's talk about the menu. We, tr we came and we tried it and we actually liked it quite a bit. I think it's actually pretty good. One of the one of the better restaurants in Universal City Walk, I think. Um, I think it's probably hit or miss for some people who have tried it. But most people who I, have, who I know that say that they weren't big fans of cowfish, I think got the sushi side of the house. And maybe it's just not like super amazing sushi i don't know because i don't really eat sushi i think our daughter likes it but but our daughter like likes sushi and she's eating like people we're with eat the sushi here and they like it so i don't know so the main menu is essentially burgers they got a lot of cool like interesting burgers um and then they have a lot of different types of sushi and then they have sashimi and then they have this thing they call bento boxes which is basically a combination of a burger and sushi so you get like you get like a small burger and like sushi all in one meal. So that's kind of cool too because you get like the land and the sea. You get both the burger and the sushi if you can't decide. So I think that's kind of a unique cool thing that they do here. Um, again, I've never tried it, but I've seen people who have tried it. And we've been with people who have tried it and they've liked it. Um, so I, and then the view, which I showed uh, in some of the, the earlier imagery, like there's a really cool balcony out here. So it's actually a really good sized restaurant, but I will say I rarely see it operating at full capacity. Um, and I think that's probably, I don't know, I don't know why, but even on like the weekends, like there's a decent wait and it's never really, they're never really using all the floors. So I don't know, maybe it's just a thing because of the pandemic, but it's got really good views. Um, if you get a good seat, which you can probably request. Um, they actually have like, a cool bar here like to the left of me which let me see if I can get a shot of it right over here to the left um, where you can kind of like get their your food but there's like you can see where they're like making the sushi and everything it's not active right now I think it was probably active before COVID but it's not active so you can still sit there and eat but it's not probably not as cool as it used to be um, but I don't know like what do you think about the restaurant uh, I don't know I think it's easy to get a reservation 
not usually day of, but if you try, if you look like a week before, you can get a reservation, um, which is good. I like to be able to make reservations. Um, and I don't know. I think their food is really quality. I love their grilled vegetables. Usually, I'm really picky about the way I like my hamburger cooked, and it's usually perfect. I've never had it not perfect. Um, so I think the quality of the food is really good. I like the food. Um, so I usually get the CBCLT, which is like cheddar, bacon, lettuce, tomato. I don't know what the other C is. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, something. What is it? S you know, sauce? I don't know. Cowfish. Oh, so so cheddar, bacon, and cowfish sauce. I think and lettuce and tomato. So CBCLT burger and fries. She usually gets the shroom burger, which is. Uh, well, I just get mushrooms and Swiss cheese on it, uh, but you can get, I think it comes with tomato and lettuce and some sort of garlic aioli, but I don't get any, any of that on it. Yeah. Um, and I get grilled vegetables, and their grilled vegetables are some of my favorite I've ever had. And we've tried a bunch of their different appetizers, like the Brussels sprouts have been good here, fried pickles. Yeah. And have we tried the crab right now? It was either here or NBC. I can't remember if we tried it. <laughs> but today, so we got the Parmesan truffle fries today. Uh, Parmesan bacon. Is it yeah. Parmesan bacon truffle fries, Max? Parmesan bacon truffle fries. She got the shroom burger again because she loves it. But I got something different. I got the, um, the cowfish has left the building. That's what it's called. The cowfish has left the building burger and sweet potato fries. So... I can't wait for it to show up. It's something really weird, and I want to try it because it I looks cool. It I've been, I've had my eye on it a little bit, and I've been wanting to try it. But I usually get the CBCLT, and I just can't stop myself from getting the CBCLT. But I figured today is the day I'm getting a different burger. So we'll wait. We'll see. We'll see what happens when it shows up. Uh, but I love, I love it here, especially because um, now we just came in here just to eat here. Like we drove over here, went through the parking garage, and it was a zoo just to eat here but it's really good because if you're leaving the parks I highly recommend like if you're if it's like two or three o'clock at the park and you know you're gonna be leaving at like five or six look and see if you can get a reservation here because usually you can get one even that late in the day if you can't they do accept walk-ups and I feel like it's usually like a 45 minute wait if it's busy you can usually get a table regardless so um, that's the cool thing I like about this. It's just pretty easy to get into here. As it is with, I feel like, most of the restaurants, except for maybe, like, Toothsome. Uh, most of the restaurants, much I feel like you can get it. Yeah, much easier to get a res to get into a restaurant here than in Disney. So I dig it. So let's see what happens when the food shows up. I'm excited. I haven't had this before. But I think it's going to be... Actually, I don't know. It could be dusty. We'll see. All right, here's the... Parmesan bacon truffle fries that just showed up to the table for our appetizer. All right, dig in. Yum. There's a little bit of bacon on here, too. I honestly wasn't expecting much out of this. Parmesan bacon truffle fries. Surprisingly, the fries are actually really crispy. Like usually I feel like when I get fries, they have like a sauce and stuff on them. They're like mushy. But like even the ones that are in the sauce are still crispy. And I think it's because the sauce is so thick. It's like a Parmesan sauce, which by the way, the Parmesan sauce is very good. Very good, very Parmesan-y. And then there's some like sprinkled Parmesan on top too. And then the bacon is crispy. I don't know, like all of it is good. Like it's, it's kind of a home run, actually. I mean, look at this. And there's like a little bit of like, I don't know, chives or some sort of thing on there. Green little. I like it a lot. You like it, Mac? He said yes, he likes it. They're good. I wonder if you can get this with your meal. It's like a like an upcharge I'm gonna ask because I think I would actually I like their fries here but this is really good I feel like that would like this would like kick the fries up quite a, quite a bit with your meal all right so I just asked 
and you can actually get these with an upcharge instead of your normal fries with your burger. So that is a huge bonus. I think I may have to start actually getting these instead of regular fries. I got sweet potato fries today because I want to give them a shot. But normally I get the regular fries. And I absolutely... Like, you like them, Max? They're, like, good, right? You like them a lot or a little? I mean, they're good. They're like, I, I'm actually... I need to stop eating them because I got so much food coming. But they're good. So you can get them as an up, with an upcharge with your meal. Right there, there's a bar. Let's see if I can get a better shot. So there's a bar back there. That is that seating at that bar is first come first serve. So even if you don't have a, have a reservation, you're allowed to just kind of you're, you, if you talk to the person outside. Um, I just confirmed this. They will tell you that you can come up here and see if there's any seating in that bar, and you can just plop down there and get the menu, the full menu. Um, and then right over here to the left of me is this like lower bar right here. That's actually included in the bar seating, even though it's like not technically at the bar. So you can give that a shot if you. If you don't have a spot or it's a long wait, you might be able to just hop into the, the bar, get some food. All right, our food's here, and I'm excited. Check this out. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, okay, let me tell you what's in this. The brioche bun, the half pound of beef. By the way, they have, this actually comes with a full pound of beef, but I got the half size. So you can get the half one. So this is the half. It actually comes with a full pound of beef. I mean, there's a lot of beef on there already as it is. You can get the full pounder. It's got bacon, fried bananas, and peanut butter. Sounds, sounds weird. weird sounds weird. weird. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a shot because it sounds all, it, it, it seems cool to me. So I'm going to try it. Oh, and I got these crispy sweet potato fries. All right, so let's just dig in because I'm, I'm excited. I don't even know where to start with this monster. Do Taking a bit. Okay, go. Well, mine is really good. Mine's always good, so I, I think mine feels bigger. I, I forgot. Do I, was I supposed, supposed to order a smaller version of it? I don't think so. It just seems bigger. That's fine. So yours has just the mushrooms and Swiss? But it comes with, is it just lettuce and tomato and, oh, and the aioli? Garlic aioli. Okay, so, my burger. That looks weird. It actually tastes really good, but it's weird because here's, here's the thing about it. There's no sauce except the peanut butter. Is it dry? So it, it's like really hard to eat because it's so dry. It like, took um, a really long time to eat this bite. Yeah, like she started talking about hers and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And I had to finish my bite for like 10 minutes. Um, Cause like the banana on here, like there's there's not like a ton of banana, so it doesn't even help with the moisture. And I got my burger well done. Um, it probably wasn't the best idea, but that's just the way I get it. Um, the, the bun is nice and toasted though. It's good and kind of buttery. The burger is awesome, like the flavor of it. The bacon is super, I mean, look at this bacon. Like crispy delicious bacon the banana is good but the peanut butter tastes good too but all together it I feel like the flavor of it I really dig but it needs a sauce like it needs a lighter sauce on it because the peanut butter is it's it's kind of it's kind of tough to eat like it's gonna take a while for each bite but the flavor is good so I, I actually dig it um, but it needs like something lighter on it to, to smooth it out I feel like because it's hard to Maybe I'll put some ketchup or something on it, but that'll probably ruin it. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm afraid. To, I don't even know what to put on it. Mustard? I don't know. We'll see. So overall, burger was good. Uh, she liked her burger. How's the grilled vegetables? Let me try the sweet potato fry. They're so good. They always cook them perfectly here. Like they're still firm. They're not mushy, but not too firm. They're really good. The sweet potato fry is pretty good. Um. They're crispy. How was your burger? Good, same as always. Awesome. And he got he got more of the fries that we got for the appetizer. So, oh. Yeah, Max says it's one of his favorite. Yeah, go ahead. Max says it's one of his favorite burgers he's ever had. So. The cowfish sauce. 
He always gets extra. So do I. I don't know what's in it. I think it's like a mayo-based sauce. It's really good. Um, but I, have to, I will tell you, honestly, I should have got the, CBL, the CBCLT burger because I love that so much. Yeah. With all, I get a little extra cowfish sauce on it. So do Max. Like he did, and it's just it's just perfectly balanced, what that burger. Like and it's like some sort of mayonnaise sauce. I don't know what it is, but it's good. It's not Thousand Island. I don't know what it is. So because that burger is so good, I um, but I'm glad I tried this. I like to try new things and different things that I've never tried, and I will eat a lot, quite a bit of this. But I do think the CBCLT burger is, is better, and I would bet the shroom burger is probably better too because it looks really good. Um, Your sweet potato fries taste very sweet potatoy. They're they're good. They're I good, like them. But they have a really strong sweet potato. Flavor, they are, um, which I like. But I weirdly dip my sweet potato fries in ketchup because it gives it like it, it's that sweetness plus the vinegary saltiness of the ketchup blended together, which I really dig. So, okay, overall the food is great. As always. But the CBCLT the CBCLT burger better I think than the Calpies just left the building. It's just missing something. It needs something else to cut like a vinegar or something, something to cut through it. Yeah. Other, I mean, otherwise it's a good burger. Uh, so yeah, so there you have it. There's kind of the overview of the food that we got. And they told us our food, stuff. The, rest, the kitchen was behind, um, but it really didn't take long for our food at all. No, it was fast. So, it was fast. Yeah. We didn't wait long at all. Okay, so we finished eating finally. I ate about half of my burger. Yeah. And I've been I've been like hyper analyzing this burger for some reason because I, like I wanted it to be better than it was, and I think the problem for me was. So there was banana, fried banana on it, and you literally couldn't taste the banana at all. Like, I thought for sure the banana was going to overpower it, maybe with the peanut butter. And the banana just did not show up at all. I feel like what it needed was, like, a fried plantain. Like, a thick fried plantain, like what we get, like what we get from, like, Bob Marley. Yeah. Um, you know, Jamaican food. Because it's just so, it's so sweet. It needed something there, and the banana just literally disappeared. Like, it might as well not even been on there. And then the peanut butter was good, but it needed to be a peanut butter sauce. Not, just not thick peanut butter, which is what it was, um, because it was so thick. And it, it, it did overpower the dish a little bit. Um, and then there just was nothing cutting through. Like, I, I mean, you think of, like, peanut butter and, bana and like um, banana and like marshmallow fluff or even some people do peanut butter banana and mayonnaise or miracle whip and that's like i know that sounds gross but like that's a popular thing it needed something there it just was missing so um if i were so so for for cowfish executives and chefs who are watching this video um yeah plantain you didn't even get a less. She's not even. She's like staring off in the distance. I was trying to think of how much it was. I sure. Oh. She was like, I memorized all the prices, I know, and then I she did. was too yeah, like, oh my gosh. She's like, it's about to be my turn, and I don't remember what the prices are. Because that was that, that yeah. was happening. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Anyway, I digress. I was just saying when the cowfish executive chefs watch my video, I just wanted to give you a tip that you need a plantain in there instead of a banana. Um, and something else to cut through. Yeah, they're never going to watch this. But anyway. Um, well, his so burger was $3 my, more than mine. Well, no, because I got, that was, the, what was the price of it? For 19. the, it was 19 for the cowfish just left the building, but I got the half one. Oh. So I think mine was the same price as what yours was. So what was the price oh, of yours? 16. So I think mine was 16 as well. His was 16 as well. Yeah. So all the burgers are basically like 14 to $16. Yeah, the truffle fries were 10 Truffle fries, 10 And his shake, he just got an Oreo shake, and it was 12 It's kind of pricey. This is a little shake. expensive for a it's shake. more than the appetizer. A little, a little pricey. Discounts on it. Thank you. Thank you. And as you just heard him say, plus you get the annual pass discount here. So save some money. Uh, just a tip. Otherwise, um, that's it. I think we're done. I think yeah. we've wrapped it up. Good, as um, always. Overall, enjoyed the food. Uh, great. Like, the ambiance has been good. It's not been too loud in here. Um, we didn't have to wait that long. Food's good. I know the shake will be good, but I'm going to review it because he's had that shake a thousand times, and it's very good. Um, 
So there you go. There you have it. Cowfish. Highly recommend. They got some cool stuff here. Burgers, sushi, burgers plus sushi, peanut butter and bananas on a burger. Probably not perfect, but they need to improve it. But they have a lot of other cool burgers like with like beef brisket on it. I mean, all kind of stuff. Um, so check it out. Reasonably priced. Um, thanks for tuning in. Another great episode tomorrow. Like, subscribe. Hey, you know what? How about you share, share these videos? That, that would be awesome. Like, just share, just share it out. Maybe there's a few people that you know that might actually like um, some of the stuff we're doing and might want to know, like, hey, where's a good place to eat in Universal because they got a Disney or Universal trip coming up. Share the video. Um, but anyway, I digress. Enough shameless plugging there. Uh, thanks for joining us. The Noble Way. Bye-bye, everybody.